Thanks, Steve. With the increase in popularity of rideshare apps such as Uber and Lyft, cab companies have taken a serious hit. But now, during his last weeks in office, Governor Deval Patrick is pushing for government regulation of Uber and Lyft. And I have this report on its reactions. UberX and Lyft are both 100% illegal. Stephen Sullivan, the manager of MetroCab, argues that the rideshare apps are illegal because they don't have livery plates or proper insurance. They have so much money invested, they don't care. They can spend $100 million on lawsuits every year, it won't affect them. With Uber becoming a worldwide company worth billions of dollars, it's impossible for smaller local businesses to keep up. So they come into Boston and we have the, all these small people, they're bullying us. Right. It says, oh, well, it doesn't matter that we're not legal. As long as the politicians don't stop us, that means they, they authorize it. And that's, that's their business philosophy as they go around. Despite local companies' distaste for the app, Uber drivers are confident that with government support and innovative practices, the app will survive. The ride-sharing companies are very innovative, so um, with whatever result, uh, you know, in respect to policies, whatever policies are implemented, I think they'll find a way to kind of make it lucrative for the folks who are, you know, on the streets, driving around. As cities continue to meet to discuss the future of the app, Ash thinks the outcome in each city may not be universal. It'd be interesting to see, like, how um, these types of meetings affect a, like a Boston versus a New York City versus, you know, smaller metropolitan areas. These rideshare companies plan to expand business here and around the globe, but you will see more discussion and perhaps implementation of more regulations and possibly even bans.